Good to see you. Today we're going to focus on a little self-care using a technique called dry skin brushing. Many of you also know this as lymphatic body brushing, skin brushing, exfoliation brushing, just to name a few. As the name suggests, the technique involves lightly brushing the surface of the skin in order to improve or enhance your health. Why is it important to take care of your skin? Beside the enhancements you'll see with the look of your skin, by exfoliating, you'll also be improving the largest organ in your body, the skin. And it consists of countless pores, which become clogged with dirt, toxins, and pollutants. So, who should do this? Anyone interested in enhancing their wellness. People with limited mobility or who are bedridden can often avoid bed sores by body brushing. Check with your doctor if you're not sure. What are the benefits of body brushing? It improves blood circulation. It improves lymphatic flow, which in turn encourages toxin towards lymph nodes, which filter and destroy harmful substances. Lymphatic fluid also carries immune cells throughout the body to help defend against infections. I like to think of the lymphatic system as our body's other sewer system. You definitely want to keep that clear and flowing. Body brushing works on the most superficial lymphatic vessels, meaning the ones closest to the surface of the skin. Lymph doesn't have a pump, like the blood has the heart to push it forward. Blood vessels also have one-way valves which prevent backflow. Lymph vessels have no valves to keep the lymph fluid flowing. So it relies on exercise and breathing to keep it moving. Lymph flows towards the heart, so that is the direction we want to encourage. Another benefit of increased lymph flow is helping to rid your body of stagnant fluid buildup, which in turn may encourage an accumulation of toxins and could prevent immune cells from being delivered to the areas of the body where they are needed. Swollen ankles are a good example of stagnant lymph or lymphedema. Body brushing also gets rid of the dead skin cells at the surface of the body, exposing new healthy ones. It unclogs follicles and pores while improving the texture of the skin. Body brushing also allows deeper penetration of oils, lotion, and essential oils. When or where not to body brush. Don't brush rashes, burns, cuts, abrasions, wounds, or any new surgical sites. Avoid varicose veins and sunburns. Don't brush right after waxing or shaving. Avoid saunas and steam rooms for the day after body brushing. How to do it. I find it easiest to use a long handle natural vore bristle brush, like the one found in the Mindful Wellness body brush kit. I can hold it close to the brush for the ease of getting to places um, you know that are easier to get to, and the long uh, the, the long handle is good for harder to reach places like on the back and maybe the leg if you have some mobility issues. So you can do body brushing either standing in the shower before you turn the water on or like I said if you have mobility or flexibility issues you can do this sitting down. You're going to be doing it on bare dry skin. So let's begin and you'll see how quickly you'll get the hang of it.